Welcome to my shop. My name is Steve. In this video, I'm going to show you how I take some Coca Bolo and make some small drawer pulls for a jewelry box. And this will all be shop made. I'm going to show you my jigs, fixtures, and process. So let's just get to it. I'm just getting the mill marks from the joiner off. I've planed this to just over 20 millimeters thickness. It's a little rough around here, but that's because of a knot. And I'm square. And I'm going to make the width of these handles 40 millimeters and attach them with dominoes. And I'm going to do it from the face. This will be the pull, so. I need to mark out my uh, centers and I'm just going to take what material I have available and put these on 50 millimeter centers. I'm going to be using 4 millimeter dominoes. So I've got a 4 millimeter domino set up. It's on the tight setting and I've measured the uh, depth stop for this fence, the smallest it will go without a shim is seven millimeters from the fence to the center. So just so happened I had chosen, I initially I chose 12 and a half millimeters, but uh, to get the profile I wanted, um, I'm thinking I'll just increase that to 14. And uh, I'm gonna do as much profiling on this thing as I can while it's uh, one piece and then then go for the remainder after <laughs> Despite the density of that uh, coca bola, it, it was very easy to mill these slots. It kind of surprised me. I expected more, more resistance. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put a 1 8 inch round over on the, what will be the bottom lip of the uh, pull. Now to get my fence position here, here's the side with my mortises. So this will be the underside. So I'll want that round over edge on this edge right here. So the, morti the uh, domino mortises need to be positioned outward. <laughs> Use a core box bit. Some rust there. Okay, now I'm going to adjust the height to this, and I think what I want to shoot for is three millimeters. I don't want to be more than five. And actually, I think I probably ought to, as dense as that, uh, as dense as that Coca Bola is, I think I'll take it in two passes.
Okay, so I've got the underside of this, and I think, let's see, I left just a s very slight flat on the uh, inside edge of this. Got a nice, there's a very slight flat on the outside too, which is what but I wanted. What I'm going to do is rip off a piece that's just over 14 millimeters wide. So I've pulled the rip fence back and I'm going to use it as a stop. In this magnate bed it has I'm going to use part of the profile I've slowed the router down uh, to 13,000 rpm this one does not have a bearing and what I'm going to be doing is taking this profile bit profile and removing quite a bit of material so I'm going to have to adjust the fence but I don't this this will be very hazardous because once I make the cut there's virtually no support on the trailing ends so what I've done I've taken I, I've got a series of four millimeter domino slots in this piece they're spaced on 50 millimeters so I've milled three and I cut one tight and two uh, wider setting dominoes and what I'm going to do is use this to support the piece so that I can do so safely. Okay, and this will provide me support when I mill this piece. Okay, so I have just a bit of hand sanding to do.
Okay, so I've got three of these cut to a uh, rough length. Now I want to profile the edges. Okay, so I've, I've put in a four millimeter domino in the end of my work holder piece. And it doesn't have to be centered, but it is flush on this side. And I'm going to work from the underside. Okay, so now that the filing's done, uh, the next step, I'm going to try this instead of using a hand sanding sponge. Uh, these are manufactured by 3M. They're called radial bristle discs. And I don't remember exactly where I got these from. I think they were either Craft Supplies USA or uh, Packard's Woodworking. They're both wood turning type uh, companies. So. I think I'm going to go ahead, this is uh, the yellow's 80 grit, the white's 120, the uh, red is 220, and the blue is 400 grit. So I'm just going to hit that end grain because uh, I'm going to be using a power tool. I'm going to be putting this uh, respirator on. And uh, See what I can see what kind of damage I can do. So far, this is just real, really requiring minimal work and uh, to get a good result. So, go to a uh, faster drill. So that was working pretty good. So I think that about wraps it up for this video. Overall, I'm pretty happy the way these drawer pulls turned out. You could also use them. You could scale them up for a larger drawer. You can, I guess you could scale them down too, but with the four millimeter domino, I probably could have gone shorter, um, but this was the size that I wanted. Uh, you could scale these up for drawer pulls as well. This fixture was very helpful to me, uh, first from a safety standpoint. The reason I put this fixture together was to uh, hold the stock as I did this, this round over. And uh, it worked well, and I, I got to looking at it and saying, well, i got to sand this now. And this was very useful for holding this uh, as a fixture for holding the uh, stock while sanding and usually my hands are split, my fingers are split and they're sore when I sand and it wasn't that case at all for this one. And this uh, uh, scrap of oak was quite helpful and useful when I, uh, when I shaped and sanded the, uh, the individual poles. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you and I thank you for watching and have a great day.